Welcome to the Last Word. I'm David Jenkins. He's Chris Post. And Chris, we're finally out of the snow and dug ourselves out, and we're finally able to yes, do a show. Yes, we are okay. We did not get caved in with some snow. We apologize for no no show last week. Snow's a killer, man. I hate snow. Snow, snow sucks. I absolutely despise snow. I'm moving to Florida. We're going to have to do the show from Florida or from our location. Charlie needs to update and when he's got like saddle, satellite broadcast yeah, stuff like satellite. that. Yeah, Get you on a screen and just have you here. Yeah, we can do that. And draw funny pictures on you. Florida, Keys, you know. <laughs> that works. Somewhere, somewhere where it's tropical all year long. Cause Let's I get tropical. But in our absence, we missed some big games. We did. And, uh, it's one of the best games I've seen in a long time, Charleston, who mattered, went to double overtime and all kinds of drama back and forth. I'm sure everybody who watches our show has heard about thrilling. that. Thrilling. It was a thrilling game, but now New Matter, they're in the Final Four. Mm -hmm. They're playing, uh, they'll be playing tonight, uh, or this, I guess this afternoon, mm -hmm. when everybody watches this against uh, Stratford. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Stratford, you know, they finished third last year in the Final Four. This is their second consecutive trip to the semifinals. Very senior loaded team. A team reminds me a lot of, of uh, Notre Dame, maybe not quite as tall, but senior loaded. You know, they're a lot of seniors. They pass the ball well, mm -hmm. shoot it well. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Notre Dame. It's funny you say that because last year, watching the, watching them last year, it's kind of got that sense that they 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 kind of that feel of of, of team. Uh, you know, no matter no matter what team they're going to play, they're going to be the smaller team, and that right. kind of concerns me a little bit in, in this one. Because um, when you get up there, you're going to have teams that know what to do, what what they're doing, know exactly uh, how to how to handle situations like that. And like you said, Stratford, they've been there before. Mm -hmm. uh, they know the lay, lay of the land. New Madrid, this is the first time. They're kind of wide-eyed. I, I, I hope they're not as wide-eyed as I think they are. Yeah, if you look in the Final Four, they're the only one that hasn't been there. Yeah. You yeah. know, all the other three teams that were there last mm -hmm. year. So, um, you know, it, they're, they're, the, they're the newbies. New kids on the block. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, and, and Stratford, you know, what worries, what, what I think New Madrid can, you know, take advantage of is Stratford normally plays man-to-man. -man. Mm -hmm. they're, they're basically a man-to-man -man team. They have played some Zone in the playoffs, I think, to get ready for a team like New Madrid. But if they try to play Jimerson and Word man to man, I don't think that's going to that. end up bad for them. Yeah, because right. New Madrid is one of the quicker teams, like all around. They have quickness everywhere. Right. Everywhere. Um, and the key for them, and key for just about any team really, is they're going to have to get production from somebody out of, other than Willie Jimerson. I know Willie can go off, and he's proven that he can do that. But you know, when they're at their best. You get word with 15, 10, 15 points. You got Aston Newsom inside, you know, getting his 10 points. You, a couple buckets outside from, from Kyle Causey and Drew Palmer and stuff like that. They're going to have to really, I don't know, I, I don't know, if, I'm not ready to pull the trigger on New Madrid winning against Stratford yet. I just, I'm not, I just have that feeling. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I just, Stratford to me just seems like a team that is kind of ready to kind of take over and get to that championship game. Yeah, we were talking about the, the three teams that are up there, and New Madrid, I think, has, you know, the, the Class 3 is tough. Yes, I mean, you look very at it, tough. You look at the other side, it's Madison Prep, who we've seen, you mm -hmm. know, before, and they, they've got, you know, they're loaded with size. They're 6'8", 6'4", 6'7", and their best player is 5'11", just a quick, quick guard who can score, and who would match up, who would be an awesome matchup with him and Jimerson, yeah. I think, in, in that one. You know, they beat that father, Tolson. Beat Tolton and, and with Michael Porter Jr., one of the top prospects in the nation. That, that was a, a and big And they played a brutal schedule. Yeah. Matt Madison has their 18-11, but they played a brutal schedule. And Barstow, their second, trade, second straight trip to the semifinals, you know, they've, you know, their only losses were to Columbia Hickman, who yeah. is a very good <laughs> yeah. basketball team, and to Lawrence, Kansas. Yeah. I mean, they, they've played a tough schedule. They're 6'7", six, 6'6". Six, six. They've got some size. And, mm -hmm. and so, I mean, all, all four of these teams are very good. Uh, it's going to be tough for New Madrid to win it. I, I think New Madrid gets the championship game. I don't know if they can get the get the mm -hmm. championship or not, but I, I think they beat Stratford. I, I'm with you. I can see that happening. I really can. I mean, New Madrid, we just bring something different to the table. We just do. We have quickness and, and speed, and, and we get up and down the floor. That's just our game, and a lot of teams don't see that, and that, that can catch a lot of teams off guard. But you neutralize that with being big inside, and that can slow some of our teams down sometimes. It kind of, uh, I, I won't say, just it's completely different, but uh, the Dexter girls, just as an example, they got beat inside the, to a little bit bigger North County team mm -hmm. that can kind of push the ball a little bit. It's just little differences like that that will that can decide the outcome of a game. And if it right. comes close, you know, board here, board there, that makes it all a lot. The biggest of thing I think is going to be officiating. If they call it real close, I think mm -hmm. the matter's got problems because you know that they like to get up in you and and, and pressure defense mm -hmm. and use their quickness to get some steals and stuff. Mm -hmm. If if their guards get in foul trouble, you know that that could be a game changer and, yeah. and, and swing Stratford's away. But I think, you know, if it's if they let them play a little bit more, it just it just depends on your crew there. That's true. It it kind of determines how 
how aggressive they are, but man, right. they're so deep. They they go they you know Chris Farr kind of emerged as one guy that can come in and score and mm -hmm. not well, a really Jimerson type, but he's a guy that right. can kind of shoulder some of that scoring. The, the key is I think Jimerson and Word have to stay out of foul trouble with yeah. their quickness, the way they handle the ball. If those two can stay out of foul trouble, they'll be okay. Yeah, now, and and like, I just. It's a, it, you kind of lose the fact that, like I said, just the depth that they do have. Like they, they, you know, they just run guys in and out, and foul trouble is not usually, usually a, a factor for them. But Jefferson's got to stay on the floor. Right, so I say, if Jefferson gets to foul trouble, floor, that's a yeah, that, that that is a factor. But you know, I, they typically they rarely don't don't have that problem. I just, you know, that's a good guard combo to have at uh, a state. Right, you, know, so I mean, you don't see that a lot. You know. I've, I've been up there many times, yeah. and you just sometimes you get those officials oh, yeah. that are just yeah. they they call every little thing, and you know they they've been encouraging you know the, mm -hmm. to call the, the touch fouls this year, you know to call the bumps and everything like and that. And I will say that down here, that's kind of been it, we still let them play, don't yeah, get me wrong, been, but they have been a lot better with hand checks and bumps right. and things like that. Right, but you you know sometimes you get up there and it's a little bit different. So hopefully, yeah. hopefully it's just a well officiated game that's you know kind of mm -hmm. well balanced, and I think if that I, I think New Matter pulls it out, and then you know I you know. Madison Prep Barstow. I think I think Madison Prep is just tough. Madison Prep's rolling right now, and they, and they do. It's just they're one of those programs that they have kids that just know how to play. And, and their coach Irons, I, I coach think, Stoney is, Irons, I think he's committed to go to Vashon mm -hmm. next year, if I'm not mistaken. So this will be his last run with this group, and he's got a lot of young talent. Yeah. I just kind of wonder how many of those go with him to Vashon. You know, it's a, it's a different world up there. In that, in those, yeah, it's, I don't understand the whole. It's you know, a different the, world. Those kids are on different teams every year up there. It so, is, but, and uh, it's. I don't know how it works. I don't care to know how it works. <laughs> but you know, if it comes down here and we have to deal with it, then fine. We'll yeah. we'll deal with it down here. But you know, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that to. A lot of to other guys who might be smarter than us. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll move to Class Two. Scott Central. They're going to take on Crane, and what I think is the state or the state championship game, in Class Two. I, I agree. You know, Crane. They're they're a team that's been there. That I think they won in 2011. They they won Class Two over Bernie. Um, it's one of those one of those games where you just you look at this semifinal and you're right. I think the winner of this one wins the state championship, and I think Scott Central got a chance. You know, just on paper. I, obviously, I haven't seen Crane, uh, but on paper, I don't. See anything just really jumps out at me on this Crane team. Now this is just looking at stats and who they beat and stuff like that. But their opponents were the the teams that they lost to was Ozark and uh, uh, West Plains, mm -hmm. Class Five and Class Four schools. I mean that's and the other all of the West of them you know, wins. Right. You know the the thing that kind of gets me. I mean I don't know if you're familiar with their their coach resigned. Their de yeah, they, he resigned in early February. Yeah. They've they've been playing with an interim coach. Nobody knows why the coach resigned. Apparently you know the school board's not saying anything. Mm -hmm. It's kind of been a little hush hush. You have this interim coach who's ten and zero with yeah. them, but you know he's not. You know he's you know he's only coached ten games mm -hmm. with them, and, and now here you are in the state semifinal game against the Scott County Central team. And, you know they're a lot different. That's going to be a brand factor, of basketball, <laughs> a lot different brand of basketball than what uh, you know they're used to seeing. Yeah. I think Scott Central wins this game. I think Scott Central wins the state title. In the I think they two. do. And, and of, of the three, I, I've said that Scott Central has the best chance of winning. Just I mean simply just because they they have the experience. I mean they've they've been there. They know this is what they work for. This is what this is what they're about. Winning state championships. You got Jeffrey Porter, who's just emerged into this big, big moment, big time player. The for them. greatest quarter of basketball I can remember of a high school player having against the Indiana uh, Bernie in the third quarter. I went back and watched that, that third quarter. Thanks to our friends from YHC, their Seymour Sports Zone, YHC TV. I went back and watched that third quarter. I wouldn't be able to be at that game, but yeah, you're right. He just took over uh, 22 just, points in the third quarter that, against Bernie. And steals, rebounds, anything you want. He had 19, he 19 against uh, Valley in the fourth quarter. You know, 40 ended up with 43 points. Went 16 for 16 free throw line. Kid's a big time player. I mean, when when the game's on the line, when they need a basket, he's there's none better than him that he can get get it done. And, they're gonna need somebody else. They're gonna need other people to step up. I think yeah. in this one, uh, but it's nice to know that you have a guy that can get in there and and get you a couple points when you need it. Right. You know, <laughs> it, 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 he just kind of puts him on his back. Yeah. If, if you if, when the game gets tight, you know they're going to him, yeah. and you know you know he's going to be there. And he's and, capable, and, and he's it, very capable. And of doing Bernie's that. a good defensive team. It's not like he was doing this against you know children of the poor mm -hmm. or something. I mean, he was doing this against a really good uh, defensive team, yeah. and he just you know. It might just off. it might just be me, but I mean, it's because they're. I don't know. They've won so many, but I mean, last year they won a state title. I mean, these are the same kids that won a state title in, in class one. Jeffrey Porter is sophomore. He's junior now. I mean, he's this, oh, this Porter family is just amazing. I mean, what what got how many? Four or five? You got six championships in, in those four. Mm -hmm. Mama, mama, uh, daddy, big brother, and him. That's yeah. going for and a, going for another one. And yeah, it's just ridiculous. It's just. Yeah. Oh. 
Just we're 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 spoiled with good yeah. basketball. Okay, around then you, you know, real quick in the other semifinal game is Canton against Mid Buchanan. Mm -hmm. Mid Buchanan, this is the first time they've ever been in the in, in the state yeah. final four. Um, you know, they never even won a playoff game before this yeah. year, so I don't know. You know, they're they're kind of you know. I, 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 teams that have no experience in there, you kind of, I, I never really take as much yeah. uh, stock in. And then you've got uh, Canton, who I don't know a lot about, but they took out number two, Salisbury. They, they knocked out the stakes. Knocked and, out the stakes, man. In overtime, but they're a good defensive team. But, uh, you know, they're 25 and won the last 26 games, and they lost to some teams I've never heard of before. They're by Hannibal. I don't know much about them. Yeah, we've, we've always kind of discussed about, well, what would Scott Central do in other classes? Well, this is the year where we kind of figure out it. I've, it's, it's, it's still class two. It's kind of looked at, it. class two is kind of. Kind of looked at it as just kind of a not without Scott Central in class one. I, now I think that's kind of reversed now, yeah. but class two is just kind of looked at as kind of a weaker class, and mm -hmm. you know we'll see, we'll see how weak it is when Scott Central yeah. goes up there. I don't think like that that uh, semifinal game. That Thursday gonna game is going to be a good game. I think, I think it's so. be a good one. And then you know we get, we'll move to class one. Advance Meadville. Advance has a workout for them. Meadville is undefeated. Uh, you know they their third straight Final Four. They lost to Scott Central in the finals mm -hmm. last year by thirty. But you know, let, let's be honest, this Advance team is not Scott Central no, last no, year. No, they're not. I, you know I think Advance has a work cut out for them. A lot of seniors from Meadville, um, some size. Uh, it's gonna, I think it's going to be a tough road for Advance in the in the semifinals. It, when you get to the Class One, you you see a lot of undefeated teams. You see a lot of teams just one, two losses, whatever. They don't, they don't play much. Mm -hmm. it just it's just they're they're you know products of what they play, and that's fine. That's no big deal. Advance, they're on a it's kind of a Cinderella run, just kind of like they were, you know, a couple of years ago, and it's I don't know, they might might pull this one oh, out. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to say they're not. I just think you know Meadville with all the seniors back, they've been there. This is their third yeah. straight time they've been there. Yeah. They're they're seasoned. They know yeah. what's going on. I, you know, I'm going to take Meadville in this. You, you look in the other semifinal. You got Winston. Mm -hmm. I looked them up. I've never heard of Winston before <laughs> in my life. Popular, there's a reason because there's only 250 people in the town. It's like a Hoosier story. There might, I don't know, I, don't, I haven't taken a look at the last sentences, but there might be more people in Van Duzer than there is in Winston. Yeah, I mean, 200. That's, that's what we're going It's their Winston. first ever trip to the state, you know, first ever trip to state. They beat Stanbury in the quarterfinals. They've only, they've only won a playoff game one of the year, and that was in 1969. It's just a, you know, you know kind of a, uh, kind of a mm -hmm. Cinderella story. They've only got one player over six foot. And that's listed, like we were talking mm -hmm. about earlier. That's just listed. So yeah. he's probably he's probably five eleven. <laughs> probably five ten or five eleven. Yeah. You know, so you know, it's it's kind of a Hoosier story. So you're kind of interested to see you know what happens there. But I think Advance has a work cut out for us. If Advance wins that game, I think they've got a chance to win a state title. I think so too. And that's kind of one of those deals where the semifinal is kind of looked at as a championship game. You know, Meadville, like you said, the season. Advance. I don't, I'm I'm gonna give just a slight slight edge to Meadville in this one. Just just very slight. We'll talk real quickly about Class Four. Mm -hmm. uh, I did the Notre Dame game on mm -hmm. on on White CTV last night with uh, against the Potosi and they, and now they put on a show yeah. a clinic of of passing using a high low offense. Uh, a great job from from Quinn Poitras. Mm -hmm. um, you know a great player from Potosi. You mm -hmm. know Dylan Campbell. They or Dylan Coleman. Excuse me. They they kind of shut him down mm -hmm. in the second half. But he he's a heck of a player. But, uh, you know, Notre Dame, if they're playing this well, they have Westminster on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Westminster is a good team. It reminds me a lot of Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. But I think Notre Dame, I think Notre Dame can make some noise. They are forward. rolling right now, and that's, a, that's huge. I mean, when you get on a streak like this and, and you're playing well and you know it, it's hard to stop. And I, I like Notre Dame's chances against Westminster. I like their chances to go up and, and make some noise at State. I, now, when we get to State, that's a different story. Right, it's a different story. It. But right now, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, it'd be hard for me to see someone playing better. Just the way they pass the yeah. ball, the way they're shooting it. Yeah. You know, you can't leave them open. You can't leave any of them open. Yeah. And they're so deep. Um, you know, they can bring guys. You know, they don't lose much, and they bring guys off the bench. Yeah. So it's do have a few injuries, though, with uh, the wrestle. going the wrestle going down and uh, Bowens. He kind of tweaked something. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but wrestle tore his ACL. That that is a concern. You're going to lose him with some ball handling. But other than that, I mean, they've yeah. got they've got guys that it, can rotate. It in. didn't know. You couldn't tell yeah. last night. And then in Class Five, you know, there's a chance you get all, five Southeast Missouri teams yeah. in the Final Four. Jackson, I mean, they play Viani. Uh, you know, before we, you know, we're doing mm -hmm. this before they play Viani. You know, if they win that, they've got Slew or Battle. Battle's nine and sixteen. Slew seventeen and eleven, yeah. making their first playoff appearance in twenty two years. Jackson has a chance to get yeah. to that Final Four in, in Class Five. Yeah, Jackson, they, they they always seem to kind of make it at least to quarterfinals. They they have a, a running shot. I think they do. I think I think we're this is a year we we have get all five, five teams. I think so. And so it'd be the first time ever we got all five. Yeah. You know, and, you know, we're back it, it harkens back to the days of the eighties and nineties when we would get four in. With we've had four, four and we've had three win it at, uh -huh. at a time, but never this five. I think it, I think we got a, a solid shot. We've been saying Southeast Missouri basketball is at its peak this year. It's mm -hmm. been it's been for a while. You know, they will. We'll 
we'll see for sure when we go. We to got the legitimate next shots of two of our teams winning winning state this this weekend. I, I think that's, I mean that's what that says all I need to say about it. Right. <laughs> and yeah. if they all three win it, hey, we, oh, yeah. we got we get to raise yeah, our hands up. in victory. Hang, hang a banner around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, we need a Southeast Missouri banner just somewhere. So we'll be up in Columbia. We'll be watching the matter in Scott Central and Advance. We'll, we'll have be. highlights. We'll have stories. Make sure to check us out. You know, follow us on Twitter, Facebook. Look online. Yeah, do we'll all have, right. you know, Be sure to check out photo galleries yeah, too. We photo gallery, yeah. We'll have everything. We'll have everything. So, so follow us. Anything you want to know about the state final four, we'll be there. We'll have it for you. So, we'll see you guys next week on Last Word.